How nice is that glorious sunshine, buddy? We have just had another four days straight of rain and it was so nice waking up to the sun being out this morning. The very first thing I did was go around and open everything up because being in the rainforest here with high humidity levels, there's the chance of mold if you don't get that airflow going. So open it all up and we're kind of ready to start on a few jobs. Most of it is hopefully going to be outside, but let's start with a little walk around the property where we just check out everything, clean up some palm fronds, and it helps me keep an idea of what I've got to do next and make sure nothing's getting too overgrown. Another thing I do when I'm on this walk is I keep an eye out for any weeds popping up and I've just spotted some. So these little buggers are called devil's figs and they're really easy spot by this kind of unique shaped leaf, but also they've got a really spiky stem on them. And when they're this small, they're super easy to pull out. And if you pull them out, they're not gonna grow back up. And as well as the devil's figs, this one here looks like a little baby tobacco plant. So once again, super easy to pull out at this point and they don't start seeding until they're kind of more up around the head height. So if you get them out now, they're not gonna spread. Here's a better example of a tobacco plant coming up. You can see this one's getting taller, so it doesn't need to get much bigger and it'll start to seed and they'll spread everywhere. And they're definitely another invasive weed. But yeah, you can just pull them out. And I won't grow again, hey Elk? I've just had the first wildlife sighting of the day just over in front of the bushes over there. I always find when I try and get close to these guys on the ground, they're really sensitive to ground movement. So I might quickly put up the drone and see if we can get a bit closer so you can get a better look at him. Do you want to go outside? Come on, Ock. Now, admittedly, that was sweatier work than anticipated. As you saw in the last video, normally when I get hot and it's humid here, to help cool myself and Oki down, we go to the swimming hole or we use the outdoor shower. However, yesterday, after all this rain, I made a discovery and um, it's pretty bloody good. Let's go, Ock. Come on. It's finally happened. With all the rain we've been having, the creek is finally flowing. I've been waiting for this bad boy to flow for so long. The ground is certainly very wet right now. Come on. Oh, look at the pace. Come on, bud. It is gonna be so slippery getting down the hill, but I can hear it flowing. Listen. Wow, it sounds like it's really flowing. Come and knock. There's still no real clear defined path down to this either, so we'll see how we go here. Ock, you coming? It's pretty moist, for lack of a better word today, but look at this. A running creek on my land. And if you watch the property tour I did about six months ago, you'll remember Zach and I and Ocky here, and it was bone dry. Come on. I feel like this may actually be the deepest part for you, buddy. What if I cleared all these rocks out for you? So I think maybe it's time for a little bit of functional fitness. I feel like we're starting to make ground off. Now, if I can just get that one to move, it's almost this like deeper pool here. Look how deep this is, it's got it to my knees. She's really flowing now. Yeah, bud. And that wasn't really how I planned on spending two hours today. I did have other things planned, but sometimes when weather dependent things like this happen, just like when it's raining all the time, you do inside stuff. When the creek's flowing, you gotta regress to your childhood.
It's so slippery after all the rain. Oh, Ow. That really hurt. But um, it looks like my damming work from yesterday is working because we have much more of a pool today. Straight in. Yeah, Ock. I'm coming in, okay? And the water is definitely fresh, but I think it's fair to say the land here has just gone up another level. I think Ock agrees. What do we think? Hey? Nice and cool for you. And now we're cooled off, back to work. Still got at least one more job I want to get done today. This is a job that I've wanted to do for quite a while because what this is going to do is the awning is going to bridge this gap and it extends out and then there, that way you can have the van door open even and rain won't go in but it's retractable is the idea so also when the solar panels need sun I can just retract it in get plenty of sun extend it out when there's rain that's the that's the theory let's uh put it to the test yeah just turn the music loud till you feel it in your chest the party going down now you're rocking with the best and we ain't gonna stop not anytime soon when we walk up in a room we go crazy I'm cooking up here doing this and meanwhile off his sunbaking down on the grass let's have a good time Missing my Legionnaire's cap a little bit here. Just turn the music loud, do you feel it in your chest? The party going down, now you're rocking with the best. And we ain't gonna stop now at any time soon. When we walk up in the room, we're gonna get it. We're getting there. This is a little closer in height to the van than I thought it was gonna be. I really hope it can extend out at least past this solar panel part. Otherwise, that has all been. For nothing. And I think all there is to it is to wind her out. The moment of truth. Oh, she is close. But over. Woohoo! <laughs> Wait. Turns out it was hitting the little solar connectors, but she's over. She's beautiful. Makes a nice little waterproof section. Another job done. So the aim of the awning was to keep rain off the door and also still allow there to be about 200 watts of solar uncovered. And I would give it a seven out of 10 success. The only reason I've dropped some points is the van is just that bit too tall. You can see it's kind of sitting on top of the roof racks and I had to assist it. So it's become a bit of a two person job to wind it in and out. But the good thing is it's not something that I'm gonna have to move in and out too often. And when I have guests that park their vans in there, they're generally gonna be shorter than mine. Pretty much all are gonna be shorter than mine. So it'll work perfectly. You heard that drone towards the end eh, buddy? I think that's us done for this evening. As promised in my last video, it's 5 p.m. We're knocking off and it is so nice to have a beautiful house to come back to. What do you reckon, Oh? I think this is a pregnant mum, Patty Merlin, and you can see the bushes kind of on the on the left there. That's where I thought I saw the nest. I found this kind of flattened bit down here, and I think it's a Patty Merlin nest. I'm thinking about putting up a camera at night and trying to see whether there's a Patty Merlin sleeping there because lately I've heard so much noise activity at night. There is some funky sounds going on out there. 
What the hell is that? And I'm just hoping for some baby patty melons running around or hopping around the property soon. They definitely seem to be out and about at the moment. Hockey's just watching him. take a very quick moment to thank today's video sponsor AG1 but also more importantly just get my morning fix in one scoop 250 mils of water and a good shake helps it taste bloody good too as a lot of you know I've been smashing AG1 for over a year and a half now and one of the biggest things that I feel from it is that I have more focus and energy throughout the day that's because it's packed full of good things like rhodiola, magnesium, and B vitamins that all work together to support sustained energy even on the biggest days. AG1 works to support your immune defense with essential vitamins, minerals, and whole food source antioxidants like zinc and citrus bioflavonoids. I think it's fair to say that most of us want to stay as healthy as possible as we age, and I truly believe that by having AG1 daily, it helps me achieve that. Let's make 2024 the year that you make the right choices for your body. Head to my link in the description below to get a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 plus K2 and also five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase of AG1. I promise you, I promise you, you won't regret it. Ok, you almost ready to start it? Oh, my heart rate's up. Are you guys ready for one of the craziest bits of nature I've ever seen? I was doing my morning business. That's not it. And noticed some movement down lower down on my property. I'm just going to put a little snake warning up here for people that don't want to see a snake. I have had it with these monkey fighting snakes on this Monday to Friday play. But there's more than just that involved. So this is a python. But that's its mouth trying to get around the head of a giant bloody bat. That is a huge bat and really not that big a snake. So I'm a bit unclear on whether he's going to be successful, but what the hell? And if you're wondering where Oki is, even though the snake's tiny and it's a python, I've just put Oki inside because uh, I don't think he needs to be involved in this. Oh, look, he's having another crack. Oh, there's the top of its head. I haven't even had my coffee yet. Um... Wow, I think I'm gonna go grab my GoPro and put on a time lapse and um, we're gonna see if this snake is successful. Okay, it's been a few hours, little update. He's given up. Poor old Batty, died for nothing. That's kind of gross. Sorry, buddy. I didn't think something was gonna shake me up as much as Saltburn did the other night. <laughs> Batty boy, prove me wrong. I have never been more incentivized to do what I was gonna do this morning anyway and mow the lawn because I don't really wanna stumble along any more surprises in the long grass. So it's my favorite time of the day or favorite time of the week. It's mowing time. Don't mind me, I'm feeling myself. When I look up in the mirror, I'm feeling myself. Cause I'm cooler than a polar bear's toenails. And if you wanna disagree, then oh well. That section, it used 6%. I love how much I'm starting to, to whip this thing around when I'm on it. I don't know when they do mower comparisons a fun scale, but this is by far the funnest lawnmower I've ever ridden on. And look how much better this looks. And just to give you a comparison, 
I haven't cut over here yet. This is how much we took off the top and definitely things can hide in here more. So I don't know what it is about this section here, but this particular grass, it doesn't seem to be anywhere else. It is just so soft and spongy. I'm aware that to 99% of you, it probably looks like all the other grass, but if you're the 1% that can identify it, I'd love to learn how to make it spread. Now that looks better. Where did you sneak off to, huh? Did you go have a nap on the couch? I'm not quite done for the day. It is far overdue in being time to bring this bad boy out. Oh baby. Part of this is also admittedly just brought on because I want to have a bit more visibility at what's crawling around my house now. Safety first, Doc. Well, I'm pretty sure I just made a hell of a lot more mess. Sorry, mate. Did I get some grass on you? I do think it's all going to clean up so much nicer now. That was actually my first time using the whipper snipper here and super addictive. Wow. It's, you kind of just hit one spot and then go, ooh, that could, those edges could use a bit of a trim and you, <laughs> you find it hard to stop. Anyone with hay fever, this would be their worst nightmare, but I love how <laughs> as soon as I just turn the blower on, Oki just apparates out of nowhere and he's like, hey. I also know there's probably a few of you out there that think just cleaning up the garden isn't a really top priority job on a block like this. Yes, mowing the lawn makes it look nicer, but things are going to grow wherever you don't mow and at some points I am going to let things grow in a bit but that's when I have decided where exactly I want certain structures and things like that so it's just like how people say that a tidy home helps with a tidy mind I feel like that's the same with kind of the outside of the house for me as well I think by putting in these couple of days work and clearing everything up it's less weighing on me and it allows me to then tackle other jobs like me walking around with a measuring stick. Why the hell would they make this handle so short? I'm measuring the lengths of my property because I am now working with an architect who is also a friend. This is just going to be a bit of a passion project for him. And I'm really excited because he's got some great ideas for the project. His name's Danny. I'm going to introduce you to him hopefully in the next video or two because he's going to be out here doing some work for me as well. And yeah, the story of how we've reconnected, it's one of those real serendipitous moments, but I've got to get these measurements to Danny. Seriously though, whoever designed this, why would you make something with a handle so short? This is what it's designed to do, but it comes up to my knee. <laughs> Come on, craft right. Okay, I've just identified this plant. It's a red cedar, and as some of you know, a red cedar is not a plant, it's a tree. And this is why it is important that I need to keep on top of the gardens, especially close to the house, because red cedars can grow up to 35 meters tall. And when you consider that we are probably, what, a few meters from the house, obviously you don't want one this close being here red cedar wood is really really good but they're also beautiful trees unfortunately this one can't stay here so hopefully it's small enough still that i can just pull him out and that is what a immature red cedar's root system looks like Kapow. and this one here which is even bigger is another red cedar Pink flowered corkwood or melicope plant height, 25 meters. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Have a look at this little guy. Hey, friend. Oh, 
a bit of shade just came over and wow it is a relief but as you're seeing I'm pulling a lot out at the moment but not putting anything back in what I'd really love around the house is to plant some native flowers that will come up and bring kind of a few bees and butterflies and stuff around so recommendations on native flowers north east coast Australia hit me up I can't get over how much better that all looks let's talk about something that should never look sexy but it looks sexy in this environment look how manicured it is now around the shipping container not that you're staying much longer sir but uh at least you look with a part if you can't tell I might have almost had long enough in the sun Oki is just passed out one of the things with him losing his hearing a lot is you don't hear me coming sometimes do you buddy I'm really just having one of those just feeling so lucky moments because hard work is done for the day and now I'm heading into town for a surf and then after the surf I'm going to see a surf documentary with a mate that's made by local filmmakers and they're going to do a bit of a Q&A. And for any concerned parties about Oki, he's living his best life. He's on the couch, under the fan. It's so nice him now having that space where he can relax as well. Bye, beautiful house. Stay back, buddy. Just went out to pee, stepped out the front door, and almost stepped on this guy. Barefoot, of course. It's a little red belly black snake, and for some reason, he wants to be super close right now. Um, two snakes in this video was not the plan. And yeah, this one, this one's too close for comfort. Oki's really staring him down. I think I'm gonna have to move this guy on. Gah. God, why does it always freak me out when they do that? Get away. Oh, which way did he go? Go on. Oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, maybe. Maybe keep going. Go on. Oh. Oh, boy. I love where I live, but sometimes it's kind of Let's, let's lie down on the couch and just uh, console each other. Come here, buddy. As you can see, even poking it with the broom handle then, it was more inclined to kind of just get away. It wasn't gonna, wasn't gonna attack. Still very scary though. You ready to sleep after that orc? Mm, me too. Last night's documentary was so damn inspirational and so well shot. It is called The Road to Patagonia. I'll put it up here. And it was made by a local filmmaker who lives actually just a couple of hours down the road. So, Maddie, that was incredible. And for any of you that followed Lee and I's journey, he follows a similar path heading down the west coast of the Americas all the way to Patagonia. I loved that there was this overarching theme of the documentary about ecology and the way that we all interact with nature and essentially the way that we all are part of nature. And for me, it really inspired me, but it also encouraged me that I'm on the right path with being out here, having my bare feet in the grass and just kind of getting back, I think, to your childhood where you spent, hopefully, you spent so much more time outside. Now, whilst I am out in this beautiful spot I did want to talk about the last video because it was my first video for 2024 and thank you all so much for showing up you always do but I in it I answered a lot of questions about plans for this year so if you haven't watched it check it out 
but I want to say thank you as well for all your suggestions for going forward. You had some really, really great ones, including for the veggie garden, which I'm well aware still needs addressing. But also there were certain things I hadn't thought of, some pretty funky ideas you guys put out there and ones that I'm pretty eager to explore, to be honest. This journey is kind of a wild one, but I think you helped me realize that I don't need to do it full throttle. I can take my time, slow down, enjoy the process, enjoy my time with Oki here, and yeah, just get into it. It is so crazy to think just how much beautiful nature and wildlife we've experienced just in the past few days of me picking up the camera on this nature's paradise that is my home. I feel so lucky every day and I'm so glad that I'm able to share it with all of you. I am going to put out a challenge for you in this break between now and the next video. Please, if you can, get outside, get those bare feet in the grass, and if you're somewhere where there's snow, get out for a walk, get some sunshine on your face, some natural vitamin D. You're going to feel better for it. Trust me. Say bye, Ock. Ock, he says bye. He says, when are we going back to that creek? I'm ready for another dip. And of course, as always, be kind to yourself, be kind to one another. Bye, guys. So alive